Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Scorpio. This is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for June, okay? We're just going to see what comes up. My hands are nice and clean, so this is something to do with clean, cleanliness, whatever, washing your hands of something. I think you do need to wash your hands of something. I did a reading for you yesterday. And I had, and I did it. It was like a 30-minute reading, and I had something on my hands. Um, I had to wash my hands. The reading was very similar to that message as well. So I do believe that you are washing your hands of something. I think that you need to be prepared, though. You got somebody that really doesn't like you. That is, is I feel like this person is charging at you. They want to fight with you. They want to blame you for something. And I feel like you need to be careful because that's what the reading said. I do feel like you are in a position, you're in a very good position. I think that you have the power. We had the magician card, which is, uh, you know, in a position of power. It was right here. It was with this deck. Um, I do see you making a new agreement with somebody that you have a lot of shared values with. Um, maybe signing a new contract or something like that, or just meeting somebody that you are eventually going to sign a contract with. I do believe that there is somebody around you, though, that is very jealous of you, that doesn't like the position that you're in, or doesn't want you to get the position, or whatever the case is. But let's go ahead and get started. What do we have for Scorpio? Oh. Two fell out. We got to take them. What do we have for Scorpio? June. It's for June. Okay. Bird perched. Waiting for news. Package or letter. You're waiting for something. It's going to come. Feather. Someone you know is undependable and insincere. Now, this is the truth. Interesting that that just fell out. You, this person's going to be cutting. What we had was the Knight of Swords over here with this deck. And this person is charging in after you. They are definitely insincere. They are coming with a message or news. They do not have good intentions. Uh, beware. I'm, I mean, I just have to tell you. I know that's the case. This person is not sincere. Uh, they are against you. They are against you. So what do we have for Scorpio? You need to get prepared. And what we had over here was the Three of Wands reverse, which is unprepared. You don't see it coming. This person is, it's like behind your back. And I feel like this person is doing things behind your back. Okay. Um, interesting. And it could, I feel like it's either somebody that has a lot of air in their chart, Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. Could also be somebody that has fire. Uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, but anyway, let's see what we got here. What do we have for Scorpio? What do we have for Scorpio? Oh, we got two. Ah, we got some money going down the drain. Wasting money or spending too much money or, or a loss of money. 444 is an angel number, which is universal protection, universal guidance, uh, foundations. Uh, all is well. All is well. So uh, there's some sort of protection here, universal protection or universal guidance. Really, really pay attention to the signs. And something is happening that has to do with your money. It has to do with your job or your money or something. This is, may have to do with your job. could also deal with a person that is... Uh, not paying you or they're not giving you the money that is yours or something to do with money money going down the drain okay um but there is some sort of protection here there's invisible forces put it that way with 444 that are around you protecting you in some way what do we have for scorpio I feel like there's a loss of income or a loss of money or this person is after your income. You know, they're after your money or they're after your, you know, job, something like that. Or they don't want to pay you. Ch 
chariot. Chariot is go. It's time to go. Moving in a new direction. Getting in the driver's seat. Taking charge. Now, I don't know if somebody is charging towards you. I do feel like somebody is coming towards you. I do. And I think that you're going to need to protect yourself. You're going to need to defend yourself. I, and this card typically doesn't say protect and defend, but I feel it very strongly. I think that there is somebody coming towards you and you have some opposition you're going to be dealing with. This is a card of taking the driver's seat, taking the lead, and taking charge. Going somewhere, traveling somewhere, um, going in a new direction. You are probably going to be going in a new direction. You may be moving, okay, because that is a card of movement. So you could be moving. And it could have to do with your job, but you could also be being put in a leadership position or you're, or you're uh, you know, taking the lead in some way. It's a time of transformation with the chariot card. So this is a, this is a time of forward movement, put it that way. Things are going to move forward for you. You're going to need self-discipline and self-control. Okay, you're going to need to control your emotions. You need to have mental strength during this time. You have some opposition. You definitely have some opposition. So get prepared for it. Union. Union. Could be dealing with a cancer. This has to do with a union or a partnership of some sort. I'm going to go ahead and read the card for you. You're dealing with somebody that is insincere. You are, and I feel like you're in some sort of partnership with this person now, and you're completely unaware of it. I feel like you are because I had the lack of awareness in the other reading that I did. It's like you don't even see it. You don't even see it. I doesn't even want to stay up. A tantric goddess sits within an ancient temple of worship. She is filled with the ecstasy of divine union, which permeates the room in a rainbow of hues radiating from her aura. All the colors of the chakras are represented. The goddess wears a pink lotus flower symbolizing transcendence in Buddhist culture. The lotus thrives in muddy water yet reaches beyond the murky depths for the light emerging as a perfect bloom. Whether you seek spiritual union from within or a physical connection with another, the search to rise above the surface of illusion toward the light of divine understanding is a worthy goal. I started out my reading that I did last night with illusion. It was all about illusion. What I could see was illusion. Instantly, you need to come out of your illusions. There's no doubt about it. I'm positive. There's something that it's almost like in some sort of fantasy land. Ignoring the truth, you know, about a union or a partnership that you are in. Now, I don't know if this is a work partnership or a love partnership or maybe it's even both. But there's somebody that is insincere that you are partnered up with that is uh, costing you money. And I feel like the universe is trying to protect you, but I feel like there's some sort of illusion here that you are choosing not to see. <clears throat> we often seek the missing parts of ourselves and others only to be met with disappointment. This craving can drive many to addiction, forever searching for the elusive other in the realm of extremes. Through the relentless cycle of trial and error over lifetimes, we can learn to love and accept ourselves just as we are and loosen our attachment to outcomes. Meditation and sincere self-inquiry help steer you towards a deeper meaning of union. And this is steering. Interesting. Steering towards a deeper meaning of union by allowing it to emerge naturally within like the lotus bloom rising from the depths. The, peer, the appearance of this card plays a significant role in your question and calls you to take comfort in the encompassing presence of union. The thoughts, values, and exchanges you seek, you seek to cultivate offer vital clues about how to perceive and experience the basic need. Notice any areas of resistance where energy is blocked. Now may be a good time to address and release 
buried feelings of precon or preconceptions with the transforming power of unions connecting frequencies. It's interesting because I said this was a transformation. We have a union here with somebody that you that is insincere, and I feel like you are ignoring it. I do feel like you are ignoring it. Um, because of I want, I need, you know, I want, I need, I, I want this union. You know, I'd rather just pretend that everything is okay. It's not okay. It's not. It's not. There's, this is also, this, this card can signify the answer to a prayer. This is angels universal guidance you know and I, what I had in this deck and I, I, I'd love to show you that reading but I I had uh, al, uh, avocado on my finger and there's a bunch of jerks in the world that can't shut their mouths anyhow um, illusion needing to shed the old to bring in the new you have an opportunity for a union, for a partnership with somebody that you have shared values with. But there, and, and, and you have the power to manifest and you've manifested something. But I feel like you need to find a way to release. You need to find a way to release something that is based on illusion. Mm. Oh, answered prayers. Yes, yes, that's what that came up in the reading as well. Answered prayers. And this is uh, angel guidance, okay? There's some sort of answered rejection is God's protection. That's what was on this and came out here. Okay, and this rejection is God's protection. So I feel and this is protection. So that's what it was. You know, I feel like I don't, I don't want to believe it. I don't, I don't want to accept it. You know, you have to accept. Just walk away. Just go. It's time to go. It's time to go. And I do feel like you are in a position of power where you are transforming and you are releasing a union that isn't meant to be. Okay? And I think it's because whoever you're dealing with is undependable and insincere. And you've been waiting for the message, right? This is waiting for the news right here. And and this is a message, okay? This is angels giving you message. Pay attention to the signs. Pay attention to the signs, okay? You, I feel like you're dealing with somebody that is, I don't know, going in a new direction towards another union. And, you, and maybe they're with you for the money, I don't know, or something like that. And you're, you're not seeing it. You're not seeing it. If this is... I feel like there's definitely um, some sort of illusion here. There's been some sort of rejection and there's denial over the rejection. And you have another opportunity to uh, go towards a union that is more um, compatible. But I don't. F I feel like you're refusing to uh, see somebody's insincerity. Okay? Let's get some cards now. Um, some of you are moving towards a union that is very, very, very compatible. Um, but it will require you to get in the driver's seat and go towards that union. And that union could be a work partnership. I don't know what it is, but I feel like you have... Uh, I feel like you have to open your eyes and take action, okay? You have the magician and the other one. That is act. It's time for you to take action. I feel like you uh, need to shed the old to bring in the new, and that's not easy. Four of Pentacles, holding on for the money, holding on for the stability, holding on. There, there's some sort of uh, wanting to hold on. We're dealing. With, I feel like we have somebody here that is... Um, all about the money. They're all about the money. Oh, nine of Cups. Ooh, Magician reversed. 
not working out, not, not working, something's not working, dealing with somebody that is very stubborn. I feel like you're dealing with somebody that, uh, I don't know, something doesn't want to pay you, wants the money, wants the job. Uh, so I, I feel like you're dealing with somebody that is greedy, selfish, uh, in it just for the money. This is a dead end. This is, this is not, is a no answer. Um, it appears to be great, you know, it, it appears to be wish fulfillment, but it's not. You're dealing with somebody that is very, very arrogant. Uh, this person wants to have it all. They're very man master manipulator, extremely manipulative, manipulative, lies a lot, very, very controlling. Um, I don't know if this is, this is a family business or something like that. It doesn't have to be. Some sort of, I, I, for some of you, this definitely has to do with a business. It has to do with a job. Um, Ten of Swords reversed. That is the straw that breaks the camel's back. There's some sort of lies. There's dishonesty, a master manipulator. Um, very, very cunning, very coy, very, very arrogant. Uh, wants to have it all, doesn't care who they hurt, has hurt you in some way. This person is selfish. You're dealing with somebody that is extremely selfish. Probably violent as well. I feel like there's some sort of violence here. Very. This is a trickster, a schemer, you know. Um, hmm. Ten of Swords, that is the ultimate betrayal in reverse. This is like the worst that has happened. This is... Uh, with worse things getting worse and worse and worse you could be dealing with somebody that uh oh this person is above the law they are above the law they're super 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 greedy selfish and arrogant uh whew. ten of swords reverse this is freedom breaking free from something and I do feel like that's what you're doing. You do have wish fulfillment around the corner, but you're going to have to take back control. You got to take back control. You got to take the reins. You got to go. You got to go somewhere. You need to get in the driver's seat. You've given your power away. This is powerless. You've given your power away to somebody that is very skilled at manipulating. Very skilled. This is a liar. It's a thief. And this is delusional. This is great. Well, that's a, that's a delusion, okay? Oh my goodness, happiness. Ah, Ace of Pentacles reverse. Now we have two no answers. No, throwing something away. This is this is not stable. It's not solid. It's not secure. But, you know, this is a time of growth. We have definitely have, it is a time of growth. It's a, it, we have a new beginning here. But you have to let something go. If you want wish fulfillment, if you want happiness, if you want to have it all, you've got to let something go. You've got to throw something away. You need to drop it. This is not something you should be investing in. You need to let something go for, to have the ultimate happiness, to have your wish fulfillment. But this is like, I'm not willing to take action, even though it's killing me. There's something that is killing you. It is weighing you down. It's causing you a lot of pain. It's hurting you. And things are only going to get worse until you just drop it. Let it go. Let it go. I don't know if you're dealing with a Leo or a Gemini, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Could be dealing with a Cancer. Uh, and this could be Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, whatever. You're dealing with somebody that is extremely arrogant, extremely skilled at manipulation. This person is a thief. I think that you have a new beginning right in front of you, but it comes after a loss. And I feel like it's an unplanned thing. You don't want to let it go. I feel like you really don't want to let it go. You don't want to see this person's insincerity. You don't want to see it. And I think things are only going to get worse because the universe will make it worse until you accept that something is not stable, solid, and secure. There could, there's probably is a loss of money or abundance here. I definitely see it with this card and this card, but everything happens for a reason. I feel like this is a time of growth. You have a new beginning here, a beautiful new beginning where you can have wish fulfillment, but it comes after some sort of, well, Ten of Swords is a death. 
Okay, it is upright or reverse. It's a death of a situation. I feel like this is almost like a near death experience or something has ended and I or it's going to end. There's been some sort of delay because you've been manipulated and lied to and, and I feel like you've chosen not to see. I do. I feel like you've chosen to hang on to something because uh, it felt good because it made you secure in some way. But whatever it is that you're holding on to isn't working out. It's not working out. It's not giving you the happiness that you need. I think you need to throw it away because you have happiness right around the corner. You do. Um, mm. You're going to be receiving some news from somebody that is insincere. That... Oh, goodness gracious. It's probably going to push you in a new direction. You're going to have to tell somebody no as well. You're going to have to say no. You are. You are go you're going to have to say no. I'm happy. I'm happy. You know, you are the manifester of your own happiness. You're in control of your own happiness. If you want wish fulfillment, if you want to have it all, you cannot let this person have control, take the power away from you. There is somebody that has power over you right now and it's because you just, you've given it to them. And this is a thief, just in it for money. There's something that is gonna happen. This is the straw that breaks the camel's back. This is, it is. Somebody could also be letting you go. This person may be telling you no. I mean, this could go either way. You may be hearing the words no from somebody. Nope, I'm happy. I'm good. I'm good. And it could be you saying those words or they're saying those words. No, I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm good. I'm right where I need to be. I'm stable. I'm solid, secure. I'm not interested in putting in effort into this. There is something. No, we have a union where it's a no. You'll be dealing with a Queen of Pentacles. Maybe your happiness lies with a Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is somebody that is stable, solid, secure, hardworking, uh, loyal, motherly, grounded. You have a new beginning with somebody that is stable, and it's a male or a female. But I feel like you've been hanging on to something for financial reasons or security reasons that really isn't paying off for you. It's not. It's not working out. There's a lot of manipulation and lies and deceit and all that shit. And you have a, you have an, a new beginning here or an opportunity that you are missing or throwing away with somebody that is stable, loyal, solid, and secure. Do not let this person manipulate you and have power over you. This person uh, that you are dealing with is just after you for the money and you have a better opportunity here. I would go for the new opportunity. You have a new opportunity that could make you extremely happy. This is this is a it is definitely a time of growth. It's a time of fertility. This is the birth of a new life. You have an opportunity right now for happiness, for wish fulfillment. I mean, this is wish fulfillment to have it all with somebody that is loyal, that is generous, that is hardworking, that has something of value. I mean, this is the queen of value, okay? That could make you extremely happy. But there is somebody else here that is a master manipulator here that has been hurting you in a very big way that you have been holding on to for all the wrong reasons. You also need to ground yourself, get real, get practical.
be willing to let go of this master manipulator so that you can have the stability and the long-term success and the happiness that you really want. Some of you are going to be moving, traveling towards a union. That is going to make you happy. But I feel like you, but you're missing it right now. This is throwing away a golden opportunity for a liar. Not taking any action. Laying there. Allowing yourself to be taken advantage of. Four is a very prominent number here. Four, some, but something to do with fours. Moving towards a union that could make you extremely happy. But, and it could be an unplanned move, but there's a lack of reality. <laughs> Oh my goodness gracious. Things are only going to get worse until you take action and get the hell out of there. Get out of that situation. And it could be mental. It could definitely be mental. You could be mentally drained, right? By a person that has held you back long enough. Take your power back. Get in the driver's seat and go. 